uh, hopefully you guys see where I'm coming from with this, right? But I think I've maybe got a bit of a different opinion based on other people out there. I legitimately think, I legitimately think, right? This is my own theory. You don't have to agree with me, but I legitimately think stuff like this is a psyop. This is a video of Sam Smith recently at a live performance in a very um, racy outfit that people are going crazy about. Let me play the video. In my opinion, I think this shit is a psyop. Why do I say that? I think it's a psyop because I think they're doing this stuff on purpose to make us hate one another. That's my hot take on it. It's like similar with that flipping video of Dylan Mulvaney and Bud Light. I think they're doing it on purpose to make us hate each other. Because why, why is it important for us? Or why do we need to know? Or why are they pushing it in this sort of certain way? Clipping the videos of the way they're clipping them. The dinner of a Mulvaney thing. They're doing it in a design to make us hate each other. We're going through whatever we're going through in the world, financially, economically, societally, you know, just in Paris now, that whole city in France was on fire because they're deciding to raise the minimum flipping retirement age up to 64 when it was previously 62. Benefits in the UK here are being cut. You know, people can't get houses and whatnot. Rents are going up. My rent has gone up basically 100, 100 no, 200 pounds since flipping last year. Everything is flipping going crazy. And to distract us from all those things that we actually need to be paying attention to, they insert all these stupid little psyops, like the, like the Dylan, Dylan Mulvaney thing with Bud Light. Essentially, what they did with that Dylan Mulvaney thing is they gave all right-wingers an excuse to be extremely transphobic, to the point where Kid Rock is getting a flipping gun out and shooting all those flipping boxes of fucking Bud Light. If he's doing that figuratively, who is he actually shooting at? He's basically pulling out a strap and killing all these trans people that he deems to be people that shouldn't be in society or whatever it may be. That's what he's kind of doing. He's obviously not doing it, but he's kind of doing the same thing. And these videos, these clips of Sam Smith, we already know what time he's on. We already know what Sam Smith likes to do. Leave the guy alone. I personally don't like the music. I personally think his music sucks. And I don't think... And it's like that meme. They have a line of somebody that going crazy and then someone say, oh... There's no way your music calls for that performance. I don't think there's anything in Sam Smith's discography that calls for him to be up on stage in fire high boots, fishnets, tight black panties, and elbow length flipping black and red gloves. I don't think, and some like dazzlers on his nipples. There's nothing in his discography for me. I feel like warrants that kind of outfit. But he's definitely on that time. He's in his little David Bowie phase. He's experimenting. He's having fun. Let him do what he wants. Leave the guy alone. His fans like it. He obviously likes it. What's with this stuff that they're doing now? These these accounts, these like end wokeness accounts, these libs of TikTok accounts, I legitimately think they are psyops made to fucking anger, frustrate, and get people hot and bothered so that they can go out and actually take physical flipping, um, go to physical means to kind of end the things that they don't like to see on the internet. It's horrible, man. I absolutely hate it. Sam, honestly, Sam Smith is terrible. His music is legitimately like on like Adele level in terms of like, I don't care for it. I hear it. I won't even know it's him singing. I could give no fucks about it. But this constant putting him out there of like, oh, what are you doing? He's the devil. Ba ba ba. Okay, if he is a devil and if this stuff does disturb you, guess what you do? You just don't check it out. It's not that big of a deal, B. I don't see it that big of a deal. I don't get it. This is clearly done for his fans. It's clearly done to troll. Okay, cool. Whatever it may be. Let him rock. Let him do what he wants. I just don't see the need to constantly flip and push this shit in our faces and make us care about it when we clearly don't give a fuck. It's annoying. I fucking hate it. And I think it's done legitimately to make us all hate each other. I honestly do think so. Because in the grand scheme of things, only Sam Smith fans care about this sort of shit really and truly. We don't. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I'd love to know what you guys think in the stream chat. What, what, what's, your, what's your guys' thoughts on here? I find it try hard and cliche as well. Nobody can make me care about this. Exact. Thank you, Jay. Thank you for saying that. Majority of society doesn't care uh, who you are or what you do. Just warp for... Exactly. There we go. 
Yes. And I think we can all agree. Mostly, all of us agree. No one wants to see fucking drag queens reading to kids in libraries. But how often does that happen? And if it does happen, let's put an end to it, especially if they're going in there doing fucking strip tees. But if a drag queen is just sitting there reading them a book, dressed up in what she's dressed up in, it's no different than a clown reading them a book. They're just wearing a fucking costume. It's not that big of a deal. Like, we've all got common sense, but they always keep heightening it, like, and pushing it to the fringes of these groups, like, the super, super hardcore liberals and then the super, super right-wingers, and then they're arguing about stuff that us in the middle don't really care about, but it's flipping polluting our flipping newsfeed. I hate it. It's so annoying. It really is annoying. Like, because, let, let's think about it this way. Let's be, um, let's, let's agree with the, with the right-wingers. If we, even if we agree with the right-wingers and he is evil and what he's putting out is harmful for children... I still think he's trolling. A part of me still thinks Sam Smith knows exactly what he's doing and he's legitimately trolling these guys and they keep sharing what he's doing and essentially in a weird way making him incredibly rich, making him incredibly well more, more, you know, more visible out there and whatnot. And in the game of pop music, which he's in, he basically is paid by how much attention he gets in a weird roundabout way. So it always kind of, you know, contributes to his bottom line. But there's a part of me that also thinks, yeah, he probably is trolling on purpose. So, I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. It's fucking annoying, man. I, I hate all of it. I hope. I wish we could all kind of get along, or even not even get along. Just learn to ignore each other. That's where we need to go to in a, in this new kind of like post cancel culture era. In, instead of being a cancel culture person, just ignore something. Hey, I don't like what you said. I think what you said is out is fucking dumb. I might clip it and talk about it, but I'm not going to call your sponsors. I'm not going to demand for you to get fired or get deplatformed. No, I'm just going to ignore you. I'm going to clip what you said. I'm going to make fun of it. And then I'm going to continue on with my day. That's what it should be about. That's what it should be. Not fucking reporting, not getting crazy, not pulling out fucking AR-15 and blasting, you know, tins of fucking beer that you bought with your own money because you're trying to make a stand against Bud Light. Of all flipping beers, Bud Light, it takes a fucking cat piss. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, God almighty. I hate all of it. Um, but yeah, what do I know?